Romy here. Welcome back to Fujiwara Bittersweet. We're here with Ryu and Toshu saving us from, you know, about to be human trafficking. That is the least convincing answer I've ever heard, but I'm not in the mood to ask anything more right now. I turn to Haru, who's still spacing out, seemingly even more shocked than I am. Haru, are you alright? I, in any case, let's get out of this back street. We'll walk you home. You'll walk them home. I don't care about her. Just don't forget the deal for you. I want the sweets. Yes, yes. Of course, Toshio. <laughs> I look at her. She's really pale and trembling, and I highly doubt she, she would like the math teacher and her mother to see her in this state. Come on, Haru. Come with me. You should spend the night in my house. Okay. Oh, Ryo takes us home, and I finally start to cry as soon as I cross the doorstep. Oh, Aya, you're with... Wait! She hurries towards the extremely concerned because she knows full well what I, that I'd really dislike crying in front of people, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, honey, what happened? I jump in her arms, bawling, baby. Mom, it was scary. I thought we were gonna die. What? Haru takes a step forward, t avoiding their gazes. We, we almost got kidnapped. The guys from the news. I notice mom freezing and tightening her embrace, while the, other, the air around dad suddenly gets menacing. If it's some kind of joke, this isn't funny at all. Dad, it's the truth. Those bastards. This is the first time I've ever seen Dad this angry. Sweetie, I'm so glad you're safe. Can we call the police? Or is it too late? Mom turns to Haru and beckons her to come join the hug. Haru shrugs and finally joins us hesitantly, while Dad is still quietly fulm fulm fulminating against our assignment. Let's just call the police and let those jerks root rot in jail for the rest of their life. Ryu, I mean, the guy who helped us already did that. I grasp Haru's wrist. Mom, can Haru spend the night here today? Of course, you two should take a bath and try to think about something else. Dad relaxes a bit and tries his best to smile at us. Yeah, I'll make something good, especially for you for dinner. Go relax until it's ready. Thanks, Dad. Where's Taku? <laughs> I'll let Haru go first and finally indulge myself in the hot water after she's done in there. I instantly feel my muscles relax and sigh in relief. Man, what a crazy day. I feel better now, but Haru still looked really pale when she came out of the bathroom. I closed my eyes to stay like that for a while until mom knocked on the door and told me that dinner was ready. Haru was silent the whole time, although dad tried his best to lighten the atmosphere. After that, Haru asked for permission to leave the table and I offered to let her sleep in my room while I take the sofa. I'm not really comfortable with sleeping with someone else. I'll just wait and take the sofa instead when everyone else goes to sleep. In that case, just take Aya's bed and she'll sleep in Takun's bedroom. He's out with friends until tomorrow, so it's okay. How about that, Haru? Okay, I guess. Thank you. Okay, so that's where Takun is. Wanna play some video games before going to bed? I know you like them, so maybe it'll help you think about something else. Yes. Takun's shelves are filled with all sorts of games, and I pray that Haru will find one that will calm her nerves. But, she simply sits before the TV, spacing out. You, um, don't wanna play anything after all? Uh, yes, right, a game. Can you choose one? Sure, what kind of game do you like? Anything. Don't you have a preference? I said anything. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't want to yell at you. I guess I'm still upset because of what happened earlier. Yeah, I figured. She clenches her jaw, then putters under her breath. I'm so pathetic. Huh? I'm so scrawny and tiny. He just sent me like, flying like I was nothing. You're talking about what happened earlier. Look, it's not... I wasn't able to protect you. I can clearly see her anger. See anger in her gaze. Well, we're both rather small girls, and he was clearly taller and stronger than us. I wonder if it would have been the same if you were a boy, too. If I were a boy... Uh, oh yeah, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> oh no, I didn't choose my words wisely once again. I think she's misunderstanding me. No, I mean, I'm not saying that because you're a girl, you weren't able to protect me. I'm sorry I'm not good with words. Her smirks and looks at me with defiant eyes. Not like it would have changed anything if I were a boy. Exactly! What? <laughs> uh, what I'm trying to say is that it's not because of whether you're a boy or not that you weren't able to protect me. We just didn't have a chance against them because of our size and strength. In fact, how about we just stop trying to place the blame on something? It's nobody's fault besides that guy's. Still, I'm so lean. You aren't. You did try to help even though it was dangerous. Thank you for that. She raises her head to look at me and smiles faintly. You... You're really not good with words, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that. You look really adorable, though, if that says anything. <laughs> you aren't good at all, but still, it comforts me. I'm glad, then, because I really thought for a moment there that I was making the situation worse. 
Thank you. Don't mention it. And also, don't hate yourself for it, okay? Don't hate myself. Hey, Aya. Do you think it actually would've been different if I were a boy? No, like I said, I didn't choose my words right. Don't think too much about it, okay? Okay. We should go to bed now. Today was rough and we need some rest. Good night. Good night. June 22nd, lunchtime. Several days pass after the incident, but neither of us bring up the topic again. We didn't even want to talk about it to each goal. I feel like it's kind of taboo, but I couldn't say why. I just know that Haru wouldn't like to talk about it again. So here we are, eating our lunch like nothing happened. You guys seem kind of weird these last few days. Did something happen? I start up, but Haru continues to eat unfazed. Weird. What do you mean by that? Dunno, it's like you're like the usual, but not like the usual. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't really put words to it. It must be your imagination then, because nothing really happened. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think she's getting suspicious. Higher than an answer like her usual self. Quick, I need to change the topic. Oh, uh, well. I don't know about Haru, but personally, I think it's starting to get hot these days. I can't really stand warm weather very well. Yeah, I don't like hot weather either. It's the worst. Yes, she took the bait. <laughs> I know, right? Like, during winter, you can add as many layers as you want, but during summer, you can't take off all your clothes. It would be a problem if you start to walk around naked on the streets. How about taking off your skin? Ew, gross! Joking, joking! Hachan, I don't know how you're still able to wear your winter uniform. We're already at, we're already at the end of June. I'll chase my summer one soon. Ha! With long sleeves under it. What? Why? You already know the answer. I don't like showing my skin or my body in general. And again, that's only half the answer. You don't need the other half for now. Look, I know everyone has their secrets, but the fact that you're so quick to hide it from us each time we bring up the topic makes me even more curious. It's torture. You have a secret? <laughs> Yuta, not now. Oh my god, Yuta, stop that. I swear, it's like your goal in life is to give us a heart attack. I was expecting him to again apologize in a dramatic way, but instead he just ignores Ichigo and turns his attention to Haru again. May I ask what kind of secret? The kind of secret that isn't meant to be revealed to anyone? Ah uh, yes, of course. Maybe we should talk about it in a more appropriate place? Haru squints her eyes. Are you deaf? I said no. I see. Too bad. I had something important to discuss with you as the class representative. You're an annoying little bug, you know that? Uh, I don't think that's... Only willing an ear to my classmate if it's needed. You know what, Mr. Perfect Prince, you're right. Let's have a talk somewhere right now. Alright, shall we go? Ichiko Aya will be back soon. Don't follow us. And they exit the room, leaving us speechless. What just happened? I'm so confused. More secrets. It's so frustrating. Doesn't she trust us? I know how you feel, but I don't think she's doing that because she doesn't trust us. She's trying to protect herself, I guess. Honestly, I'm genuinely confused about Haru's behavior and can't really answer Ichiko properly since I, too, don't know what Haru is hiding from us and why she would be more inclined to tell it to Yuta. I don't think she's telling it to Yuta. But Ichiko, you know, I think we just need to trust her. She says she'll tell us eventually. I don't want to doubt her. And even if she changes her mind, it's kind of not our business. None of our business. If she's hiding something from us for her own sake, then I think we should just have to accept it. Okay. But still, I'm kind of worried, because it looks like a big deal. Yeah, what if she's dealing drugs or having an illicit relationship? I don't think so. Kind of, what, what if she killed someone? Stop imagining the worst, jeez. Yes, please, do stop that. Whoa, you're back already? I told you I'll be back soon. I thought it would take longer since it seemed important. I'm smart enough to not play dumb when it comes to his little tricks. What are you talking about? Whatever. <laughs> I look in Yuta's direction and notice that he's really pale. Is he okay? I just threatened him a little. <laughs> He'll be okay soon, don't worry. You what? Why would you do that? He was being a bit insistent regarding our discussion. I only warned him to mind his own business if he doesn't want to regret his, his, his intrusion into my private life. What are you, the head of a Yakuza family? I hope you aren't planning to cut his fingers or tongue. Hey, she has Yakuza blood in her veins after all. Don't joke about that, it's not funny. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. I walked toward Yuta and smiled at him to apologize on Haru's behalf. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Do you know about it? Uh, no? Know about what? Uh, nothing. If you would please excuse me, I had to help someone with English homework before class starts again. Alright. 
Yuta, who's normally cool-headed, seems abnormally restless since he came back to the room. I wonder what Haru told him, but I don't have time to question it any further as the bell soon rings to announce the end of lunch break. After classes. I'll wait for me, guys. Are you going to your part-time job? Not today. Something the matter? Oh, not really. I just don't have club activities today, so I was wondering if you wanted to play a bit on the way home. Yeah, why not? It's been a while since the three of us had fun after school. What about you, Haru? I don't have anything against it. Yay, let's go to the arcade then. Dude, I will be at the arcade all the time. <laughs> we soon arrive at the arcade and start to play some retro games. Then Ichiko suddenly remembers that a new super mega cool rhythm game was just installed yesterday. It's a super cute game, like super sparkly with cute outfits and all. I want to marry all the girls in it. Hey girls, I thought 2D idol boys were the death of you when it comes to rhythm games. But now it's idol girls? Don't worry about that. I'm already working on a super ste <laughs> super steamy fanfiction with the male versions of the two main characters. I can show it to you when it's done, if you want. <laughs> Not necessary. Oh, come on. I want your opinion on it. Well, if you need a sacrifice, I could volunteer for that. Maybe. Thanks, Aya. You're so brave. Yeah, whatever. In any case, I really wanted to show you the game. I'm pretty sure that even you, a Norway, will like it. What's cool is that the story can appeal to both boys and girls, either anime fans or not. I think they did pretty well. Let's not play it after all. What? Is Ryu there? I changed my mind. Let's play something else. <laughs> something else this week instead. She abruptly grabs my arm and pulls me in the other direction. Why? I instantly turn my head around as he literally jumps on me, covering my eyes. Don't look! What are you doing? Oh. I pull her hand from my face and look again in the previous direction and open my eyes wide. Uh, Yuta! <laughs> a guy who looks a lot like Yuta is playing with two other guys that I don't recognize if you- Don't show me the dude! Show me the dude, please! Show me side character! <laughs> a few meters away from us, I step toward them to get a better look and make sure I'm not seeing things. The boy has messy hair, glasses, and seems rather really casual. And what's- what to say about his t-shirt probably displaying the word boobs in all caps right in the middle of his chest. Our eyes meet and I can't help but recognize his face and eyes. Yuta? His smile instantly disappears, replaced suddenly by a horrified and pale complexion. Aya? No, I think you're mistaking me for someone else. You, you just said my name. <laughs> I don't think so, please you just called me by my name. Yuta, move real quick, I want to see side character. <laughs> You really are dumb and I think that you were so freaked out about me revealing your secret just earlier today. And you really think people can't recognize you just because you start acting like yourself? You really are stupid. <laughs> hey, shut the hell up! Whoa, swearing from the not so princely prince of the school! My eyes widen even more and I can't help but laugh in surprise. What's that? Unbelievable. Is that really you? Don't laugh. You really are too naive, Yutan. Ichigo, did you tell them anything about this? I didn't. Like I said, you're just stupid to think that Aya wouldn't see through your poor disguise. Yeah, I wouldn't take a genius to make the connection. Wait, Ichigo, you already knew about it? Yeah, he confessed to the club members not so long ago. Anyway, bye, and please don't tell anyone. Uh, okay, I won't. What are, are you leaving already? Come on, now that everyone's aware, let's play together. I'd rather not see you. Damn it, didn't I get a seaside character? <laughs> and he hurriedly leaves, followed by his friends. God damn it! That one friend is so cute though! So this is a secret he was keeping. You're kind of evil creature, Haru. We were threatening him about that. Yes, and thanks to his stupidity, I can't blackmail him anymore. I'm pretty sure he did that on purpose. What? Well, you don't know... You don't know it because you don't see him every day in the club when he's acting like himself, but he's a cunning master strategist. I bet he did it... He did... He did that knowing Aya won't tell anyone. So? I can still tell everyone else. You could, but the thing is that he might have shown Aya deliberately, knowing that she's a good friend of yours, and it would be damaging to your friendship if you try to reveal his secret to someone else. Ichiko, you're sounding so smart right now. <laughs> that guy I underestimated him. Well, that's clever, right? I told you, under his naive, princely mask, he's someone totally different. Yeah, he's a hottie. <laughs> well, he's a real idiot sometimes, but once he connects his neurons, he can pretty much get his way all the time. <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong. You took and have whatever he wants, but I have it. Scary and interesting. I lowered my guard too much. Come on, it's not a big deal. Let's all be friends. And unmasked Utah it is rather fun and cool. Easier to talk to. That's fun to imagine. I know, I was so surprised when he told us. Though I'm impressed that you two aren't that shocked. Or angry that he deceived you like that. 
Now I'm cool with it. <laughs> sure, I'm surprised, but I'm not mad or anything. I find it fun and refreshing. Fun and refreshing? Are you mad at him? I wonder. In any case, weren't we here to play some games? Damn it, I'm really upset. I wanted to see side character. But anyway, this is where we're going to end today's episode off. I'm really hoping that Haru can unmask her mask and allow us in to her heart so we can learn more about her. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.